I'm out here today to um, show you um, how to check the water pressure around the house. Uh, my spigot on the outside of the house, the pressure is very high. Now I do have a, a water pressure regulator in my home, but I think um, that water pressure regulator comes uh, after the line for the water that goes to the spigot. So, and I know this is very high and. It's good for washing cars, but if I use uh, any type of sprayer um, for the lawn and whatnot, uh, sometimes I find the pressure a little too high for it. So, um, and I bought this water gauge, which I'm going to use to uh, test the pressure on the spigot. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect this uh, water gauge to the spigot directly. And then there's a little needle you set it to the lowest setting. Okay, now let's turn this on. And it's pegged at about 120. And it's quite high, so. So I'm, I'm definitely sure this is, uh, this water line it comes before the. Uh, the, the water pressure regulator that's in the house. So, what I've purchased to try to remedy that is they sell these RV water pressure regulator. It's a very compact size for uh, your hose. It's really meant. For, it's really meant for RVs, um, so you don't uh, people with RVs don't burst their hose uh, when they park their RV at a camper site. So I'm gonna try this out and see if this really regulates it to uh, 40 to 50 PSI and the package shows you right there it says it regulated to 40 50 PSI okay okay I've connected the uh, water pressure regulator to my tester here and let's see what it registers now Wow and it's at 45 PSI. So I just have to put one of these in line with my spigot and uh, I won't have any more problems with too much uh, pressure. So there you go.